Hello to everyone, this is Vishal. Now we have another session of the day that is called your swipe refresh layout. Actually, the purpose of this session that sometimes we need to refresh the things in our MVVM or live data model and uh, we have to update our recycler view that we notify uh, on, on behind the scenes. And uh, uh, as you see on your inboxes, uh, there you can use the swipe refresh layout and there be a colorful. Uh, layout be there and it updated your mails on your inboxes the same things we have to work with our recycler view but before that you have to go for the approaches in which i have uh, put it the mvvm recycler view with view model classes uh, i put this on my command box that uh, what with the, our previous videos so this is the uh, second step of doing that how to refresh it first step is how we can use the recycler view with mvvm and then how we can swipe refresh layout use on that because of uh, this is a short video because of um, uh, as i am uh, working in some project and, and i need it uh, sometimes uh, uh, to swipe our layout uh, so we can see the changes on our recycler view so i'm giving this uh, I'm, I'm sharing this knowledge to you uh, meanwhile in my dagger sessions just the short short video so um, uh -huh. okay first I'm I'm giving um, really thanks to all my users and welcome to my new users who watching the videos and a uh, lot of queries with theirs and in the future I will update all the queries of those users and uh, will make more videos for you as the sessions be going on uh, of related to your uh, Android okay so let's uh, start the swipe refresh layout so what's the swipe refresh layout well, we go for a small definition that is the user interface pattern it is implemented entirely within the swipe refresh layout widget which detects the vertical swipe display a distincting progress bar and triggers callback methods in your apps you enable the behavior by adding the widgets to your layout file as the parent of list view grid view or we have nowadays we working with the recycler view so we can use on that and uh, uh, so i'm just use this with our mvvm how we can i will show you what is this practically okay and uh, so uh, we have move on our example so the last example be here which which I uh, describe you in my previous tutorial this is the categories categories this is one this is two likewise that but if I put it some category on behind the scene just like on my database uh, uh, this is our database and uh, I, I want that that if I if I put it some more uh, or added some more uh, values be here how we can notify that it works be if we swipe it then it's be auto updated so I want to show that this kind of things using the swipe refresh layout okay so let us start it in Android studio okay so if we go for in our last project so there be uh, as I described to you that we have a remote under the remote we have to call the things be here so as the things be on my local server and uh, that the files read.php and that read the data from our database that's the database this is your category 1 and category 2 okay so and um, also Mm, this is our category list because of we need a serialized name and expose the things if you don't know these things you could just go for my previous tutorial in which I have explained each and everything with their inner details I put that uh, uh, on the description box so you can s click on and then get access and uh, this is our retro class uh, as uh, I describe you that is the retrofit very good nowadays this is the base URL localhost and this is our user repository in the user repository what we have to do we have a mutable live data and we have a category item list and we have to get the things with there from our database okay and 
after that uh, we need to make a view model that's our view model in which we can get access the things and for images we need a Picasso and this is our user repository get access from our database okay and the last is this is the main activity and in this main activity what to do we just call the this is our recycler view this is our category view model here we have a view model providers and get category B for that class and uh, this is our call recycler method by which we can update our adapter that is our custom adapter custom adapter is uh, here in which we have bind our data okay uh, this is this simple category view model and we can get put the values at a list on the get position these things each and everything I describe perfectly and in well uh, steps so you can learn on my previous tutorial and if you have any issues related to that you just uh, ask the questions or queries to me so give uh, your answers okay and uh, now what to do for that we need a swipe refresh layout so this is our swipe refresh layout I'm making with the match parent I'm making with the match parent and just with the margin top I am using a uh, 10 dp okay and then this complete swipe refresh layout you have put after the recycler view so that's simple our swipe refresh layout okay and I need to get these things be on my main activity but if you using the data binding then you can access it by the data binding uh, techniques but here I'm using just simple swipe refresh layout that is a swipe refresh layout and that swipe refresh layout be as a swipe refresh layout find view by ID that is r dot id dot swipe okay we, we have to put this id be here mm -hmm. swipe refresh okay and just put it be here very simple now what to do we have to call this recycler view behave so for that what we have we have a refresh layout dot uh, set on refresh listener new yes new ref swipe refresh layout on refresh listener and that is on refresh okay and you can put this be inside on refresh it's a very simple and uh, let's see what happen with that just yeah now it generate the apk in journey motion okay so you can see that this the working but uh, it uh, not be uh, visible falls here at this time uh, so what to do for that that means it refreshing and refreshing continue so that means once your call recycler be happen so we use a swipe refresh layout dot set refreshing and that's be your false okay and for single time I mean the first time we needed this uh, call recycler 
before refreshing also so you can put this on your create method okay two times be there so let's see just updating uh, wait a minute yeah it's installing so you can see that this is and then now it's gone after refreshing so that's the scene okay so what to do for that if I want to update something uh, on the database and uh, uh, like uh, I have put some values be here that is I'm putting the third and category I'm putting the third category be here and description this is third and uh, if you have uh, some images be here yeah i'm uh, food okay food and i'm putting the food dot png be here and just say go so one row inserted be here and you can see that yeah so that's your third category it refreshes the data and uh, if you go with your the next insert that is uh, fourth one and category b of four and description this is four and uh, what is with the image say junk food this is the junk food dot png and just say go one more row inserted that is so yeah you can see that and uh, last one more time we have a five this is your category five this is five description and this is the image that is uh, movies.png okay so one more so let us it uh, what is p yeah so you can see that all values be here but uh, sometimes we say that we have a multi colors uh, on the swipe refresh layout how we can use that colors we so you can go for swipe refresh layout dot um, set color scheme resources in which you can put your color uh, dot say color primary and uh, if you don't have any color be like that so you can say the android dot r dot color dot so you can there be the list i'm putting the orange dark and uh, one more color be there uh, just say comma let's see and put it hollow mm, blue light so that's be three different colors you can see that okay so let's see what happened so everything which is notifiable on your recycler view we can just refresh it and then cross check it uh, or you can use the handler also that's also be a very good uh, if you apply for the two second or a one second handler on that so uh, let's see okay and you can see that we have a colors on our refresh okay so that's uh, very simple uh, swipe refresh layout uh, as uh, I show you that on one of my project as I am working on let's describe you how it show to you so we need it many times 
it installing so basically uh, these small things be uh, very important in our projects and we need it many times uh, to refreshing to give uh, more attractive features to on our apps uh, so so can load our data perfectly be there so i'm working on some food apps uh, in which we have orders multi orders be there so you can see that here we have a refresh and it can we have some schedule times be there and we have a descriptions all the things be there and we have assigned to our riders and there be a lot of views refreshing views you can see that yeah this is the view yeah this is the multi colors so that's uh, we are working on that okay so thank you so much for the day we have to wind and uh, continue on our dagger tour on my next video thanks a lot for your lovely comments again